Hey, what it do, what it do, YouTube, it's your boy, Mike, aka Crypto Niggas, coming back to you again, talking about my favorite NFT app, VV. Um, again, since we're getting a lot closer to things, just wanted to bring this website to you real quick, the medium um, for VV's payout instructions. Okay, um, if you like to, you can go and um, to this link here and read it over yourself after listening to this video. Um, to try and you know catch some things that I might have skipped over. Um, I'll drop this link as well into the description. All right, so you just click it and bring it here pretty easily. Okay, so the VV payout details. What do you need to know? All right, let's get down to some of the important stuff. Um, what is the payout feature? Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We don't necessarily have to go over that. Um, so let's move on. Let's move on. Um, how you do? It? You log into you your VV Web Wallet. Okay, so if you begin with, all right, you should know how to do that. If you don't, um, you probably don't even have the app. So you want to get the app to even begin with, okay? Uh, so we want to complete KYC. That's the first step. A lot of us are still waiting for that. I have not got mine yet. Like I said in the previous video, I did get it once, but I hit begin and I got an error message and it disappeared. Basically, according to VV, um, I'm pretty much SOL until it comes back. So I'm just hoping it comes back at some point. All right. I mean, I have patience. A lot of this stuff is still beta, still the beginning stages of a lot of things. Okay. Even though I've been here for right now about a year and a half um, on VV, invested in VV. So let's move forward. That um, the enter the payout method. Let's see. Okay, this is an important part that I want right here. Okay, to get to. Okay, you'll be able to receive currencies, receive payout in these following currencies: AUD, CAD, EUR, GBP, HKD, JPY, NZD, and USD. All right, look like Europe covered. Um, the Canadian dollar, Australia, New Zealand, um, Great Britain. I assume yes, and Japan and. Not sure. HKD, I assume that's what Hong Kong, but USD, United States. All right. Uh, Y'all drop in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I probably am. Just let me know. Uh, anyway, um, you, if you don't see a currency, you can still get a payout. Why? Because um, majority of banks will accept USD. So that's the option that you'll choose. If you don't see your country's uh, currency, you'll choose USD. Okay. And from USD, you want to get in contact with your bank to make sure, but they should be able to transfer that USD. Well, yeah, transfer that USD, trade it into your 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 um your native country's uh currency, okay? So don't be discouraged just because you didn't see your currency listed there or you don't see it listed on the app or on the web app. Just select USD. But before you do it, of course you want to be in contact with your bank, okay? Um once you have submitted your personal and banking details, you will see that your KYC application is pending. You will then receive an email from our MTL provider requesting requesting your proof of identity doc, identity documentation and proof that you control the bank account that you have provided details for. Okay, so you're gonna have to provide proof that is your bank account. You're gonna have to pro provide proof that you are who you are. Okay, um, a lot of people are against things like this when it comes to crypto, but me personally, I don't believe that decentralization fully will be adopted by the masses. Okay, because a lot of people um, don't just don't you know trust things. Okay, so you want to be able to have somewhat of a controlling um entity because when things go wrong you want to be able to reach out to someone and have it get fixed okay but um let me see what else we got that's important here what if i want to change my banking details details once your kyc application has been approved you can change your banking details at any time by tapping the edit payout method the process is the same as the initial setup. And again, our MTL provider will contact you for proof slash verification of the new banking details. How long does KYC approval take? Once you have submitted your information, you should expect our MTL provider to make contact within the next five business days requesting your documents for verification. Once provided, they will either approve or deny your KYC application. In the meantime, you will see the pending screen below looks like this once approved the pending status will update to approved and you can proceed to the payout request screen by tapping continue request the payout once your kyc application has approved and you can proceed to request the payout to do this now or in the future simply hit the payout button again on the web wallet home screen and you'll see the payout home screen below looks as follows 
Here you can request a new payout. Uh, stuff that you guys can go over on your own. Um, again, I dropped the link in the description. Okay, here goes some more important parts. Okay, he's in withdrawal times. There are a few numbers to be aware of when processing a payout. These details are also given to you when making your payout request. You must have a minimum of a thousand gems to trigger a payout transaction. All right, you got less than a thousand gems, you can't do payout. Just simple as that. All right, you have to have a thousand or more to do payout. There is a 50 gem minimum. So to be able to withdraw at least 50 gems, you need a thousand and fifty gems in the yeah, app. Okay. Um, I believe you can have a thousand gems and then just take out fifty and it drops you down to nine fifty. But if you you I would suggest probably keeping a base of a thousand gems. If you new to um VV, you probably want to uh flip up to a thousand gems, or if you got a thousand, just go ahead and put it in there. Or more than a thousand, you put it in there, and you know, in a sense, if they keep a thousand in gems, it'll act as if serve as like a stable coin for you. You know, it's just it's just there for you. I mean, you can get it out at some point, but of course, you know, you're doing things that you can afford and and can afford to you know basically lose if you know something crazy happens. But anyway, a ten percent fee will be applied to any payout transaction. So you try to take out fifty gems, that's gonna be at least five dollars coming out. That VV had to tax you for so a thousand gems you're trying to get that's gonna be a hundred, two thousand, that's two hundred, so forth and so forth. So if you want a clean full two thousand dollars, um, you're gonna probably need to have three thousand and what like, three thousand and three hundred dollars probably in gem wise, thirty three hundred gems, okay? Because then you'll be able to do two thousand. You got a thousand that activate the transfer. Then you have two thousand that you'll be able to clear, and then you want to cover also what you're going to be probably um, taxed. Okay, so it's probably going to be two hundred from that. Okay, so yeah, about thirty two hundred. But uh, withdrawals take on average seven to fourteen days to be processed and arrive in your account. The speed of this greatly depends on your banking institution and the traditional financial system. As such. You should allow up to 15 business days for your payout to be credited to your account from the time it is approved. Approved, Okay, so it's going to take a minute. So you probably want to do this at the beginning of the month. At the beginning of every month, man, you want to set forth your transactions or get them started and everything like that because you want to give it about three weeks. I mean, I'm just saying this is this, this things that you got to pay for or, or you're trying to pay for certain things. I mean, if it's hopefully you're not doing this to cover your bills and everything like that, then you should be, you know, you do it as you please then, you know, but at the same time though, you can't do it pretty much like, Oh man, I want to buy this thing tomorrow or I want to do this this weekend. It's not going to come in time most likely. So you got to plan ahead of time, plan accordingly. All right. The maximum withdrawal amount, this is important. It's 50,000 gems in any seven days. Again, gems is basically the stable coin of the app. All right. Because comics and collectibles can fluctuate in price prices in the market okay so but you want to be able to do at least 50 well you can only do 50,000 gems in seven day period which is understandable it makes sense there's a lot of wells there's a lot of people who invested into the app early and people who've put into put a lot of money into the app they probably put twenty thousand dollars into the app to invest in everything and they've been able to turn it into six figures so basically they're not going to be able to just take out six figures at one time they're not going to be able to do 75,000 85,000 anything greater than 50,000 gems in seven day period if you have 200,000 gems that you want to get out, you're going to have to do pretty much, what, four transactions over a seven-day period to be able to do it, okay? I think it's a good thing because within seven days, it's probably like three to four drops possibly. So VV had more money coming into the app. You have things still going on. Something larger than 50 gems, probably 50,000 gems, probably go against, you know, um, the, the limits for a lot of banking um, institutions for what they allow. Um, within a week or something like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But at the same time, too, on a basic level, uh, I think something greater than that could really put the app and put VV into a pretty bad predicament if they allow people to get more than 50000 with within a seven-day period. So I think it's a good idea. I think things, that should be fine. People should be comfortable with it. Uh, big money, they already used to, I'm pretty sure, not being able to move lump, big, 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 big lump sums at once like that anyway. You pretty much got to do it and um portions or you know you take your time and stuff and how you do it but the main thing is that you have the assets all right um so this last part here it says it's also likely that your bank will also impose an incoming wire transfer fee as is typical of internationals with network transactions this is typically around 35 dollars usd and you may also be charged a currency conversion fee if applicable all right so you probably gonna get a 
currency conversion fee if you didn't see your country's your native country uh currency listed but i'm in the united states so i have to consider the 35 dollars usd charge and also i'm gonna have to consider the um the 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 the, the 10 percent from vv okay so if it's a thousand i'm doing i gotta consider 135 dollars is that i'm not going to receive okay uh so i have to take that into account if i'm trying to get a thousand dollars clean then i'm gonna have to pretty much go through the payout with eleven hundred and thirty five dollars all right so anyway that's all i have for you i'll be back with a lot more you guys take it easy have a great and blessed day if you love the content please like comment and subscribe okay drop in the comments too things that you might want to see if you got any questions from this video or you know other projects that you'd like me to check out all right take it easy have a great day